Oh, I'm freezing cold. <laughs> I'm fre I, it's the I mean, I hope it's record it's recording that you just complained already. It's the hottest. I just want everyone to know it's the highest maintenance. The highest maintenance? Is that no, the saying? hottest day of the year, and somehow I'm freezing cold. Yeah, because I was not raised in a Jewish family, and we leave the air conditioner on all day. We don't have a fear of the air getting turned off, or whatever the fuck you guys thought it was. Okay, are you ready to start? We have started. <laughs> this is how I start. I'm literally asking the questions for the podcast on Instagram right now as we While start the While the podcast. podcast is going. You are the one you're always like, Esther, you can't just put in five minutes of prep. Look at you. Also, my eyes are like drying out from all the air <laughs> blowing onto my face. <laughs> I'm so dry. I mean, not in one area. <laughs> Couldn't no, stop no, hitting no, no, no. Oh my god. I'm, okay, wait, is that good? I'm dry. Ew. Oh. I bet your boyfriend hears that a lot. <laughs> you piggy. <laughs> you guys, welcome. <laughs> Do they ever say dop? Dry ass pussy. <laughs> We're dops. What did you call? I was called a dab today. Dumbass bitch. Who called me that? Was it uh, you? Who are you talking to? <laughs> I'm talking to my assistant, oh. Tab. <laughs> um, you guys, welcome to a special episode of Mean Inspiration. I'm so uncomfortable. It's me. Your leader. Andrew. Your leader, Andrew Lederman. <laughs> it is Lederman, but I always wish it was Lederman. Um, the queen of receiving unsolicited pictures of your peen. Now, I have... <laughs> Esther hasn't heard my new setup. Esther's never watched my I have videos. heard that. I heard that today when I listened. Today, did you do research? <laughs> <laughs> you guys, my son is here. Honestly, I gave my son up for so adoption dry. 12 years ago. And I'm so dry. <laughs> the air. <laughs> oh, my God. My eyes are, you know how your eyes are wet? Mine are becoming solid. Like Solid? <laughs> dry. <laughs> wet? From wet to solid? Are they ice? <laughs> Being with Esther is like being on a drug. <laughs> that is so the opposite. It's being with you is being on a drug. You're dressed like a child. It's, sex oh, by worker. the way, it's the tennis episode. <laughs> You're dressed like a child sex Wait, worker. Are you me? I have to be lower. <laughs> this is natural. This is my swing. <sighs> um, I play tennis, but not with a tennis racket, with a sword. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Please put it down. <laughs> For the love of God. This is my favorite podcast already. This is so scary. I well, That's going to just go down here. I come here and we're supposed to go on a walk and you show up dressed like that in a late night in a city. I am. My name is Penis Williams. I'm doing a new <laughs> character. <laughs> I don't, how do I? Hold on. Can you guys see my butt cheeks? We're going to get my cellulite out. I, I, I literally can't put it back on. Okay. <laughs> We have a rogue sword, everybody. Everybody be careful. Nobody run in the kitchen. <laughs> There's the, the rules in this house are um, open door policy with the bathroom. The yes. door's never allowed shut. I don't close the door at a friend's house when I pee and If poo. the door's shut, you're obviously taking a shit, and that's to be made fun of. <laughs> that's to be knock, knock, knock. The, di the door handle jiggled. Like, you can't. I did feel weird when your assistant walked past me, though, and I, like, had my... Brown, my, no, my, my like, brown-stained, reusable <laughs> pad. <laughs> <laughs> I use reusable pads. Is, it your, is this your first period? <laughs> no. <laughs> Finally a woman. Wait, I had a pitch for Esther. Okay, uh, and the other rule is you can't run with swords. Okay. I'll, now, I'll try to now, follow... Can you guys see the socks? I mean, this outfit's so good. Half of it was given to me by Whitney Cummings today. <laughs> I screeched. I've never screeched so loud in my life. When you go to her house, like, we should just show up without clothes on and be like, we... <laughs> well, it's a naked house. I know. It's a very naked house. I know. I've never met... I guess I always thought if you're famous, you, like, don't want to be naked in front of people, <laughs> but... The opposite is true. The more famous you are, the more you want your close friends to see your naked body because open. Because it's so good. Because you... You have the best trainer. Yeah. I mean, her body... 
We did. Okay, so we went to Whitney Cummings' house. Yeah. By the way, this is little Esther, Esther Pavitsky. I've pitched her a new name. Oh, yeah. She finally got her period. I want her to be called. Do you want to announce it? No, you please go. All right. Today, guys, we're actually, this is a funeral for little Esther. And it's oh, my a, God. And it's, a, and it's a birth of, we're in the delivery room of the new Big Esther. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not about waking because I think she looks great. But my mom does not. <laughs> my mom, I, there's drama in the house. This morning I woke up to text from my sister showing me what my mom said about me this morning, talking behind my back about how I've gained weight and how I'm in doll face season how two. How did you gain it? Oh, that's not what you meant? Okay. <laughs> I, that in doll face season two, they're going to have to hide me like they did in the first season with a pregnant girl. I mean, it, it, you got to give her credit. That's a good one. <laughs> they're going to have to hide your stomach like the pregnant girls. You know, like in the sitcoms where everyone, all of a sudden everyone's got a briefcase. Or like, jackets. Yeah. like oh, There's like scene, Sein, Seinfeld season where Elaine is always wearing a jacket. It's like it's a, the summer episode. Like, why <laughs> is she in Central Park in a fucking puffy jacket? Yeah. Um, But... I don't think you're fat, but I do think your mom has a good point. <laughs> no, it's That's a good joke. It is a really good joke, but I think that honestly, your parents you put your you put them in a thing, and now they're they're going buck wild with power. no. They haven't changed. They're the same. Yeah. So people know we just get this out of the way. My special is out on Comedy Central CC dot com. No login required. It's so degrading that I have to say all this. Um, I actually asked you not to mention it. <laughs> <laughs> I want people to watch this. <laughs> <laughs> no, the special is so good. Uh, my assistant was there when I was watching it, and he went, oh, you love her. I was laughing so hard. It was so good. But did that mean that he didn't like he it? He wasn't listening. He was watching. He was playing a video game. Okay. I was but listening a little. What'd you think? I liked it. Liar. I liked it. I liked what I was hearing. He's Thank not a liar. He doesn't lie. No, I believe that. Thank you. Um. So, Annie... What, yeah, we we did a comedy show. We went to Whitney's house and well, first, I call it Whitney. First, okay, go ahead. I was gonna say I call it Whitney Land. The first thing we did was we went to Whitney's house on Saturday at noon. Um, actually, we were supposed to. Everyone got there at noon on Saturday. Annie got there at one thirty, and she made the COVID tester wait an extra, pretty much. 45 minutes just for Annie. Um, but we all got COVID tests. I'm a new friend of Whitney's and I need her to know what I am. <laughs> I don't want her to get expectations of me that are unrealistic. Well, she kind of defended you because I was like, Annie's always late like this. And Whitney's like, she's never late with me. And I was like, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's I've never respected you, Esther. <laughs> I've never been worried about whether our friendship continues. <laughs> I know I'll be fine without you. <laughs> that's so. That's what Dave always says to me. My fiance, I'm always like, before me, were you just sitting waiting for a girl? He's like, not really. He's like, I was fine before you. I would be fine after you. He's. Oh. I know. Wait, have you ever dated a guy who then goes back to his girlfriend before you? That no. is the most. You just go like, oh, I didn't exist. You go, oh my god, so much happened that you just realized you liked your life. You edited your life back to before me. That is so bad. That's hard. How? chubby do I look I mean I know I look fertile and it's cute but am I gonna be upset well you look younger with, with a little bit of padding Padding. your cheeks are padded it is it's better because it fills in the it's yeah like color. I think it's good to keep a little bit of we should keep a little bit of weight on us I keep forgetting to turn this so when this is almost out it's been an hour oh what a great system she forgot to do it and it's an almost out and also I have no clue if this is actually an hour I've never timed it but we also have these things called clocks, phones, and watches. Okay, so we got our COVID tests. Then we got our nails done. Oh, wait, wait. We had a swimsuit photo shoot. Oh, we had. this is what I wanted to talk about. So we get our tests. Um, we go get our nails done. We get the test. Then we go back when we don't, when it takes 24 hours. Get the test results. Go back, get our nails done. Do a photo. Okay, so Whitney and Spade had, this is not me name dropping. These are actually my friends, sorry. But everyone's always like, name drops. I'm like, okay, do you want me to not say who they are? Um, well, it also, I think it elevates the value of the show. Yeah, sorry. Famous people know us, even though we're little they don't, scragglers on. They don't They don't follow us or acknowledge no, us. No, we know <laughs> them. They don't know us. <laughs> here, here, I'll just play. Well, I'm not going to play it. But it's, it's, he says, he's like, Whitney's always having these girls over to wear these, these swimsuits. Cause I posted the thing. He's, 
these swimsuits that never quite fit them. They're always too big or too loose or like too high on their bodies because Whitney gets sent all of these cl- these clothes and people are like want hoping that she'll wear them and post a picture and tag them. So, but instead she puts them on us. She's just like, this is for you. This, like she's just like, she's such a producer. Like, it she is just knows. weird. You show up at her house and it's like made for like the influencer lifestyle but she's not an influencer she doesn't need to be an influencer but she just likes that i don't really know what the science is behind it but it is nice because we are it's like you can be the person who hates on people that want to have just have content but like we're performers we're content creators that's what we are and it's nice that she kind of provides like a space to do that and is willing to buy us fucking covid debt do you understand like and I do feel like it's such a privilege. Like, I can't even fucking believe it. I it's know. like, it really makes me mad at the government where I'm like, just get these. I know. Well, it's a, I'm in a weird situation where like a lot of people, because I've been really, really strict in the quarantine. And a lot of people are like, what's going on? Like, now you're just out. And I almost have to like sound like an asshole and be like, I'm at a celebrity's mansion where I yeah. got a COVID test. Yeah. Like, and it's, came back and like. And then know. went home. Like, I'm. I. This is not a big risk, and I'm very lucky that I'm able to do that, but it's not... I mean, I guess everything is a risk. I don't know. I'm not... I'm not a... The test that she does is, like, the good one, though. It's, like, the actual, like, COVID test. It takes 24 hours. It's not, like, the instant one. It's not the antibodies. It's, like... So, from what I understand, it's the best one you can get, but from what I expect from my fucking rich friends (laughs) (laughs) whose clothes I'm wearing... I mean... When, when a rich person's giving you things who is your semi-peer in some ways, yeah, you, it's a weird thing because you're like, I don't want to like be too excited. <laughs> I don't want to be like... I know you're so I don't want right. to seem rude, but I don't want to like... I don't want her to know that like... It's like you don't want people to see you eating like the free food. Like the, you don't oh, see people... I'm you're so taking free that. food home. <laughs> you know, it's like you just... So yeah. gr- so she's like handing me all these clothes and I just had to immediately put them in my car. So like the, the experience was over. <laughs> so it was like, we weren't remembering it. We were just like, that happened and it's done. And you're going to see me popping up in some clothes. No, I know. I, I feel sometimes like, did I rob her? <laughs> no, she, and she's so, and then if you go like, are you sure? And she goes, yes. I know. Like, she's like, believe me. Okay. So we, so we got, we got our nails done. I got this. It looks so good. I, and got, I didn't know that girl was such a like, but she did do such a good job. Yeah. The girl that Whitney had at her house was her, her name on Instagram is Kim. I think it's Kim K nails, which is kind of weird. Yeah, it sounds like it's Kim like Kardashian, that, yeah. but it's not. And it was the best nail job. That sounds sexual. Yeah. It was the best nails. It was weirdly sexual, but not. Uh, <laughs> well, whenever someone is touching me, it's sexual for me. Well, Hugs, especially in the pin. It's like how it's like. Hugs are sexual. When are you in a free, like COVID free, free yeah. situation to be able to like. It's insane. Did you get a WAP when you were getting your nails done? I got a WAP when I was getting my test done. <laughs> oh my God. The test was so awful. Did you hate it? You didn't. I honestly, oh, no. I like when things poke me. It, it was kind of a sharp poke up there. It was. It's going to be, by the way, all of, a lot of the stuff is going to be in my vlog on Patreon this week. Yay. And um, I can't wait to see your vlog. This yeah, week. it's going to, this is going to be a really fucking good one. I know. But. What was I going to say? About Somehow, that? ever since you started vlogging, you have like all the best things happen it's, to you. If you vlog it, they will come <laughs> and they are celebrities. I don't know how that happened. <gasps> I didn't leave my house and then all of a sudden it was like Joey Diaz and everyone's like, come to my podcast. I'm like, all right. Um, I need to learn from your vlogs because I also said I was going to vlog and I still haven't. And OK, wait. So we you have to what do stuff. <laughs> Your vlog can't just be you being like, I'm starting a Periscope. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, guys. I'm going to say hey, guys. (laughs) Um, So we have the swim swim photo shoot. Wait, actually, you doing a vlog where it's just you on your couch the whole time is one of the funny. Like, it's one day you on the couch, the next day you on the couch. (laughs) Todd, remember to put up the the video of us getting our test because it was funny. Mm. So... We, did we do the photo shoot, which honestly, what <laughs> we didn't look at in our pictures. I looked so bad. This was the saddest moment. It was such a sad reality because 
everyone who got their photo taken got airdropped 155 photos from the photo shoot. And then for some reason, when it came time to airdrop me, like nobody could find my <laughs> iPhone. <laughs> But they were able to send me two edited <laughs> pics. Then the edited pics were bad. <laughs> Whitney never sent me the pics she took of me. <laughs> There's something about me in a... One, me in a bathing suit is just... I don't look right. Two... She does, but <laughs> it's just like we're in quarantine. Like, sorry, I coughed. Two, like I, I'm not ugly. But it's hard to Why did you say it like you're trying to convince us all? I, I'm not ugly. I'm hard to get a photo of. I don't know how to do it. The person f- taking the photo is not used to that just, challenge. Like It's not even that. It's like we, and, and Whitney did say this. She said she was showing us to, because everyone knows their own angle, their best angle. But then it wasn't executed. I don't know how it happened. But Whitney was like in the pool taking pictures of me. And I look at the pictures. About 27 of those 150, by the way, were of like my ponytail and like a bush. <laughs> she wasn't like, and I'm talking about this one. She was like, d- not do, I don't, I don't know what she was like, not looking and like snapping. And she used to be a model. So it's like, are you sabotaging us? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> she had really good, like, I feel like her modeling instincts did come out. She had beauty pageant energy when we were doing the photo Well, she was shoot. making it. She was like, all right, point your toe. Oh, no, that was Benton. Was like, point your toe. Benton's she, amazing, too. Benton Ray. Benton, her assistant. Who's it, also a comic. He's fucking he's hilarious. He's so funny. And I sat in the hot tub with him for, like, three hours one night just talking about, like, Sharon Osbourne and, the and like, the the bad YouTubers that we love. And I, I just, I'm like, oh, we're the same person. I, I love him so much. Are you trying to bang him? He's not into you. <laughs> okay. Neither are straight guys. <laughs> okay, so then um, I slept over at Whitney's house because I don't know how to Leave. say goodbye. <laughs> it's so funny. She slept over. It was a little... Okay, I'm telling the whole fucking story. She sleeps over. She's like, am I staying too long? Which is like... <laughs> She slept over to go to the show that Whitney was putting on in her backyard that was like amazing. So it was, it was, we did the, the photo shoot, which by the way, then Whitney, we, Whitney and I done, by the way, we had done the Joe Rogan podcast. Whitney and I had been tested three times for COVID this week. Wow. Once to do the Comedy Store documentary. And it's going to be amazing when I test positive tomorrow from it, (laughs) from being here tonight. No. It'll be the fourth test and it comes up. Fourth's a charm. (laughs) (laughs) But so... We got tested for the Comedy Store documentary on last Monday. Then we got tested to do Rogan on Wednesday. Wednesday. I know your whole schedule. And then we do it because it's the only time I'm not talking to you is when I'm doing something that's actually really cool. And I have to know exactly what it is. And then she, when I do tell her what happened, she thinks I'm not telling her all of the information. Like, I'm just like... It's omitting. a technique, okay? She thinks that I'm not trusting her. That's not it at all. Can I explain it to you? It's a technique. You manipulate everyone. It's a technique. A technique. I asked... This is my friend has techniques when she talks I to me. I asked the same questions a couple times. Everyone I know, I do to everyone I know, they all hate it. But you always get a little more different information. So I'll be like, how'd it go? Then a few minutes ago, I'll be like, how'd it go? <laughs> It's a technique. It's the Esther technique. I'm actually here to sell a, se- a webinar. The <laughs> Esther technique. How many uh, sessions can I put you the down The webinar for? is actually how to grow webs. It's weird. <laughs> um, it's a webinar. <laughs> how to sit so long your toes fuse together. <laughs> how to web your own skin. <laughs> I am actually have quite a web growing under here. <laughs> it's really, it's really impressive. Um, I like making fun of you in a costume <laughs> while I'm fully dressed to play tennis, which I didn't play today. You look like you think it's I, Halloween. I dressed up in a full tennis outfit because I thought I was going to play tennis later. And I had to go to Whitney's house. So I thought I keep trying to get her to, to build a tennis court, which is the craziest thing ever. If you dress like it, they will build it. <laughs> so, okay. So we, I slept over. We wake up the next day. No, what I have to say is she posted my fucking... You were sleeping over. Yeah. Okay? I am just like... We wake up the next day no, and no, that's... No, 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 She posts pictures of my feet. This is what I have to say. That was about. the next day. Okay. I woke up this... I woke up the next morning to a furious call and text from Annie about Whitney posted Annie's feet and... W- Annie's attitude about it was like, Whitney did this to her on purpose. No, I didn't think that. But I it, had to... Well, I did 
You have to understand, I literally had just been on a podcast where about 10 minutes of a five hour podcast was That's about like how I never show my feet. Oh, five percent. But then it was funny last time when she was like, I muted you so long ago. I was like, you did. That's so mean. She I totally didn't. You. She was joking. But it was funny. There's that is funny. OK, so. But you, she exposed my feet, which she's will pay for. <laughs> it's a hundred million dollars. It's a million dollars, but I've raised it in quarters. So she posted your feet. She took it down. She well, did take it what, down. Here's what's so annoying about Annie, but then what's also good is if you accidentally post her feet, she'll freak out on you. She does done this to me. She thinks you did it on purpose. She's like crazy. Doesn't realize that no one else is thinking about her feet. I don't think she. You think I'm thinking about you during my feet. I have had this bit going for three years. But then, wait, listen. But then. She'll be like, just take it down. I'll blur it out. And then you actually are really good about it. you blur it out. And you like. It is funny. Like I, they find my feet. It's not like my feet aren't online. It's just it's a game now. OK. It's a game that I won't lose. So let's talk about the show. OK. So then. So then everyone came back to Whitney's house. I was still there. Um, and she set up a, a microphone and like, you know, like 10 chairs pretty distance from each other. And we started the show. Lights. We had Troy Conrad was there, the photographer. So it was like under, it was like not that many people, but it was so, the people that were there, some, some of I didn't know that well. Like it felt really bonding and really good. We all stayed to the end. And uh, one of us, <laughs> oh, I forgot. Wait, one of us was worried they stayed too long. So they left in the middle of the fucking show. Esther, okay, here's what's so funny. Now, I've never known Esther to be a eager beaver to get on that stage, okay? <laughs> you should have to drag her on stage for some reason. Like, we want you on stage. We think you're funny. We like you. And she goes, mm. And you have to drag her on stage and put the microphone in front of her and slap her till a joke comes out. And so she, so Whitney goes, does anybody want to go first? And I see the hand shoot up and I'm baffled. <laughs> Esther and I are friends. I know that there's not been one joke written between the two of us in the past probably three years, <laughs> let alone in quarantines. I'm like, she wants to do this open. Like, I'm like, what's going on? Her little hand, her little modeling hand. She should be a hand model. Now, then she doesn't get picked to go first, which is so funny. Because <laughs> Whitney was the one picking. It was probably like, you've had enough. I've given you everything. Every morsel of delicious Irawan water and food is... Whitney has, by the way, this is the most baller move. The water Whitney has at her house is glass Erewhon bottles. For people who don't know, Erewhon is, if you think Whole Foods is expensive. You're trash. No, it's, Erewhon is worse than Whole Foods. Erewhon is like three times the prices of Whole Foods. They have the weirdest, most random like keto cookies or like sugar free, yeah. but sweet cook, like or like buffalo cauliflower. They just have... All these really intricate, exciting, new specialty diet foods and like high quality. Like there, I remember for years they were the only place in LA that had gluten free chicken fingers, and it was like a really big deal. But so you are pathetic. I, like the other thing about Erwin is you go there when and, you say it was a really big deal. Like who, who, to who? <laughs> to me <laughs> and my. Like was it in the news? <laughs> to me and my three friends at the time. <laughs> um. But Air One sucks because every time you go, you get three things and you're like, how is it $48? It's definitely, you're breaking 100 It's so expensive to the point where I'll go, I'll get in the rhythm of going because I'm like, oh my God, I love this one smoothie. And then I'll be like, I'll go four times and I'll be like, I can't go for a year. This is crazy. They're robbing me. I'm so upset. Anyway, that- Remember when I was living in my car, but also eating Air One? I, Annie was living in her car. Her makeup was in a plastic grocery bag. That was the my kinds purse. It was that my are purse. outlawed in West Hollywood my in purse. Los Angeles. You can't yeah, it's vintage. They, they were, <laughs> it's so funny because I remember when I was little growing up, my dad was always like, why do you need a, a bag that says coach on it? Just get a plastic grocery bag and write Louis Vuitton. Like, and so it was funny that you actually kind of did that. But anyway, you were living in your car. Wait, is her mic in the right place? Usually I have to have it like in front of me and doing it. Is that fine? You can hear her fine? Oh, okay. no. I just, we're going to have to start over. <laughs> Esther, do you mind leaving and coming back? We have to go on another walk. <laughs> I, you were living in your car. Yeah, you lift it up a little. It's supposed to be like. 
like that thing right like there okay you were living in your car your makeup was in a trash bag and meanwhile you'd be trashy like, makeup and i and i'd be like i'm hungry and you'd be like it would be like 10 30 and i'm like what's open and she's like everyone's open till 11 30 i know their hours i'm like why do you know everyone's hours she's like i just had i, I eat breakfast lunch and dinner I sleep every in day. the parking lot <laughs> you always had air one water like you were so you were the classic millennial who like wears yeezys but doesn't have health insurance like oh that congratulations these my i don't know what these are whitney gave them to me they are a little dirty for something from whitney's house she just she wore she gave me like her shoes i was like are these your she shoes took them you off <laughs> yeah. and she was like no i don't need them and then she gave me it's just it's too much i screamed i screamed I was like high-pitched scream when i came home i feel like i was talking too much and so you were like i think your mic is wrong you weren't talking too much i was just thinking it was good what you were saying and i was afraid it wasn't going to be heard but you were talking about yeah anyways me. why would i ever <laughs> stop you from talking about me no esther i don't think anything bad about you ever that i don't make fun of immediately <laughs> i mean look at you like clutching your cramps esther's just a fucking period look at her <laughs> the end of every sentence <laughs> so the i did leave the show early it was a lot of social in, social interaction for me i had also been at whitney's house for like two full days and just kind of felt like i gotta get home to my dog it's so funny that you understand this was like this very like cla- like it was like this this night <laughs> that none of us will forget like it was like <laughs> It was like like all of these comics who kind of know each other, some better than others, working out, like genuinely working out bits. And Esther had this great set. She killed. Like, I did Esther not. tried to go first. No, she did. There's video. But you're a delusional, crazy person. You smashed. It's like she's such a psycho. So then, okay, so she tries to go first. She doesn't get to go first. Someone else goes first. Then did you go second or third? Second or third, maybe. Third. I third. Mean, that's so funny. She didn't even let you go second. <laughs> and um, so then... Esther disappears. The first person goes on. Then I'm like, where's Esther? And I go and she's sitting by the pool writing. I've never, I thought I was <laughs> having a heart attack. I didn't know what was going on. I was like, am I having a stroke? I've you never know, You were out of your own body and you were at your own funeral before yes, I give I the like, eulogy. <laughs> she's literally right. I'm like, there's a pen in her hand. It's moving. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like does Esther draw? Like what's <laughs> happening? Is she sketching the pool? I was like, she might be writing a suicide note. Like, honestly, I was like, there's no other thing she could be doing. But she was writing jokes. And then she went up and just killed. It was so annoying. I was like, what? that's what you have in you? <laughs> and then um, and then I make her call me up. I, like, give her, like, the look where it's, like, me next. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not waiting. Uh, poor, honestly, Melissa Vizenior wanted to go up so bad, and she deserves everything, and she's a way better person and hilarious person I know but if I didn't pick you I knew you'd fucking bully me all night I bullied you I would have waterboarded you in the pool <laughs> you would be floating in that pool right now Esther and I are, are in a fully abusive relationship she has bruises all over her body <laughs> that's not funny but it is true <laughs> <laughs> it's actually not true but it is funny she said it backwards um no, when she, the first time she stayed over Whitney's house and then was not responding to, it's so annoying. I had no service. I know. I know how it is. Yeah. Because we've been flipped. I know. Now you. Today you are like, I'm leaving it. I'm trying to talk to you on FaceTime, which by the way, Whitney's just like living a very, very successful, busy life while we're at her house. And then she's come down. She's like literally like sold three books, like a show. <laughs> She's talked to her therapist. And then you've I've literally been looking on my phone or FaceTiming with Esther sitting there and nothing's changed. <laughs> and she's just like like leading an empire and we're just like do you want to <laughs> I don't even know what we'd ask her. What was funny though is I saw your Instagram story of her eating like old food and I'm like that was my pad thai. <laughs> Yeah, it's, I was like, where did this come from? Why were you she... upset? Were you like, that was mine? No, not at all. How funny would that be if you were like, that was mine, Whitney, after she's given us all that stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really, she just eats like... Whatever. Is... Well, she has to remember to eat, I think, because she's doing stuff. That is so weird. She is just like a queen. So the show was great. I ruined it by leaving no, 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 early. No, so then I go up. I, do, I didn't realize I did 45 minutes. I mean, I did so much time. They were looking at the videos. I did so much time. And there's definitely like people that don't know me that well. Probably. I'm very annoying. No, I. So, okay. So the a lo, like before the show started, I asked three times, how long should the sets be? No one would answer. And people were just like, what well, does it matter? 
the whole time I was being strategic, again, the Esther technique, I knew if there was no time like uh fake and manipulative by the way that's I, the technique i knew that if there was no time constraints i, I knew could sit there long enough for my fingers to fuse into webs I knew <laughs> that annie would go too long no one else was prepared for it but then you went up there and you just went and you went and i was right <laughs> <laughs> But I and I that's why I have webs in between my knee caps. Her she can't even pee anymore. There's no vagina anymore. She can't pee. <laughs> her knees like this is how her legs open now. Just like this. Can you see? No? No. Okay, this is how her legs open. Uh, everything is fusing. When I can't do that. Everything is fusing together. They only move at the <laughs> I can't I can't do this without showing my entire vagina. Hold on. There's a lot to see. Like this. Can you see my legs now? Oh my god! He keeps going. What does this mean? Well, when I recut it, re-edit it, you know. Oh, okay. Oh, Esther's checking her. This is she's pretending I'm on stage again. Um, so I'm up. I give Esther about forty-five minutes to hatch a plan to get out. <laughs> you I'm were up very there. funny. I'm killing. Everyone's you freaking out. They're like, "She's a star," and I'm like, "Shh." And then I realized they were talking to Taylor Thomas, and she was in the other room. But um. <laughs> Uh, no, it was really fun. And then like one other person went up. Yeah. And I, I had to go to the bathroom. Like it was so fun and everyone was doing so well. Like Ben went up, Melissa Villasenor, Taylor Thomason, everyone killed Sarah Tiana. Um, Candace Thompson had like this joke that's so fucking good. Um, who else was there? Ron um, Funches. Ron Funches. I forgot the boys. Kevin Christie. Yeah. Did Kevin go up? He didn't get tested, so he couldn't go up. Oh. Uh, he couldn't go near there. But um, uh, who else? There's definitely one other person on this. Whitney. <laughs> 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 Whitney. But um, it was really, really fun. And then I didn't want to even go to the bathroom because it's so rare to have a bunch of comedians workshopping and actually other comedians paying attention or like helping or whatever. I have been holding this pee in. So I'm like, finally, I got to go in the middle of someone said, I feel bad, but I just go in real fast. And then I come out and go, where's Esther? <laughs> I go, I go back to the pool. I go, she's inspired. She's writing more. Nope. I go into the kitchen. Maybe she's eating her pad thai. Nope. <laughs> I go into the bathroom. Maybe she's, Changing her reusable pad. <laughs> Maybe she's bleeding on something. <laughs> I go up to her room. Esther has a room in Whitney's house. <laughs> and I do want to switch rooms, though. She has a couple rooms to choose from. <laughs> Whitney's killing it. I'm it's switching true. rooms next time. <laughs> and she's gone. There's no Esther to be seen. And I'm like, where? And then right as I like go into the office, where I'm like, she's what is she in Whitney's office trying to learn how to write? <laughs> No, I'm, in, I'm in Whitney's office, like taking everything off the walls, <laughs> putting it in my purse. <laughs> You're just like, she's never going to let me back here. I better take everything I want now. Well, when I did a video, we shot a video of me going through her stuff. And she's like, OK, at the end of the video, you're allowed to take anything from my bathroom that you want. And I was like, can I take the vanity? <laughs> <laughs> and I know she would say yes. It's she has a sauna in her bathroom. Ugh, I do. Goes, I love a sauna. Melissa was talking about it and she was like, one time I came over and, and she, I can kind of do a Melissa, but not really, but she's like, and Whitney was like, um, <laughs> take my, do my sauna or whatever. And it's like, you're just in the middle of the day. And Whitney's like, hop in the sauna. Like, I don't, none of us want to sweat. Like, I don't want to be sweaty and wet right now, but she'll just be like, oh, turn this on, do this. And that's good. Okay. I got to go. And you're like, she does seem to really want you to just use her house and not talk to her. She's incredibly generous, but then she does want to talk sometimes. Yes. Too, uh, yeah. yeah. I think she just likes having friends. <laughs> <laughs> she lives like in her own like beautiful land. and It's a resort. It's I call it Whitney Land. It's so Whitney Land. I, I asked her today, by the way, I was like, are you going to start molesting us like Michael? <laughs> and she goes and she looked at me and she goes, sorry, no. It was so <laughs> funny. She goes, uh. <laughs> now... You then, I'm sure you saw the text from me. I said, sorry, I left. I was, what? what did she said, hey guys, sorry, I had to leave. And I, and I wrote back, I wrote, 
It's unbelievable that you're over. You're able to over and understay the same welcome. How did you manage to also, do... Also, something I will teach in my webinar. Listen, it's much easier when you fuse it. You can <laughs> swim away faster when your hands have become paddles. <laughs> I mean, this, this little duck quack, quack, quacked right into her car and drove off. <laughs> and by the way, you know what's really amazing? So Whitney has this beautiful home and there's gates and stuff. And mm -hmm. so we have to park outside the gate because there's not enough room in the driveway, which... There is enough room in the driveway, <laughs> but there was a lot of people. Not a lot, not too many people, but like, you know, the people that we mentioned. And uh, when you when I saw the cars driving up, so many cars, I went, wow, a lot of people either um, were like just about to get a nicer car before the pandemic or like Esther read the book Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Because <laughs> Esther fucking rich dads the shit out of her life. Like this person has like tv shows and she's a homeowner she has a an expensive dog i mean she like and she dresses literally like she's made you know what she dresses like she dresses like she works at the factory that makes the clothes that she has i love nothing more than people than funny people's takes on how i dress <laughs> Dave says I dress like a celebrity at the airport because I, I like that because I look a little elevated, but not really. What's elevated? <laughs> tell, show me on your body what's elevated. <laughs> my, show me on the doll what's elevated. But I'll tell you the fact that my shirt matches my sweatpants and my nails. The matching is crazy right now, by the way. I've never seen this in you. I don't know why you're doing it. I am stylish in the pandemic. I get to really just like get comfy in my in my comfies and make them cute. Did when you were getting that color, were you thinking about the outfit? I was thinking about my forest green sweatpants and also my clothing line, Sleepover by oh. Esther. I'm gonna there's gonna be some forest green coming soon. It's forced green, <laughs> if you're wondering, where she forces you to wear this ugly green shirt. <laughs> <laughs> No, we love it. We love it. They're charming. They're messy. <laughs> <laughs> Esther's nails, by the way, before she got them done, it was like oh. you own a business. Like you're a influencer. You used to be a hand model. You can't tie dye for a living. I definitely and look not like paint your nails or something. My hands do always mostly look like I'm a mechanic. No, they look like you were buried alive and crawled your way out <laughs> through the dirt. Okay, so the thing about... Your hands look like they shot through like a grave. <laughs> I know. <laughs> also, the forest green kind of keeps that image up. I like it. I know, it is really It's cool. a little corpsey. Remember, you had... I remember when we got our nails done together, the worst manicure of my life. Oh, that was and really And you got the best one. Was that when I got the flames? That was... Yes, that was... Oh, my girl was so hot. I waited to get the hot one. We sat and waited to get our nails done. I got the worst manicurist. Annie got the best one. They, like, became best friends. Mine was, like, hurting me oh, and yelling at girl. me. Um, she was so mean. It was, it was, like, a really, like, kind of high-class joint, too. Yeah. Because I think yours was getting paid for by the... This is when you had a show... You were doing... Shooting your show. Yes, that's right. So, the show... The show That's who you are to me, by the way. That <laughs> squeak sound. It's like, what was that? <laughs> was that annoying? I can't tell. God, it was so strange. That was weird. Is everyone okay? Wait, I want to go back to the Rich Dad, Poor Dad, because that's a book that no one has brought up with me except for you. Like in my... Because I, I listened to the... Um, Oh, this is so oh, bad. Did you think I did you think I thought you read it? No, no, no. This is bad. Trust me. I no, I got the CD of the book from the library. I burned a copy of it and then brought it with me on my road trip to LA and listened to it in the I car. I mean, this is the girl that asked for the samples at the ice cream shop <laughs> right here. This is the girl that went, Oh my god, it's so cold in here. Yeah, it's called air conditioning. That was so funny though. We so before this we went to an ice cream shop. And I just like, I'm like, maybe they're not. But I'm like, are you guys doing samples in COVID? And they're like, no, we're not right now. And then Annie humiliated me in front of her. I went, sorry, you're not going to be able to pretend you're going to buy a <laughs> ice cream and take the samples with your free ice cream. I, it's not about the free ice cream. I want to know what it's going to taste like. If I'm going to. You were never going to buy an ice cream. If it was really good, I would have. I just not didn't want to waste the calories. Chance. It's more of a calorie spending than a cash. Would you have put those calories in your calorie counter? The samples? <laughs> no, not those. Those would be free. Free cash. 
<laughs> Isn't it funny whenever, because I try to do the calorie counting thing again. I can never do that again. That that spirals me it's into It's too a- like, yeah, it's like I'm doing math all of a sudden. But then it's like, you think about it, it's like you start cheating on it. And then you're like, how am I cheating on my own? <laughs> calorie counting you're cheating on yourself yeah i'm just cheating i'm like why do my pants not fit by the way none of my pants fit uh, same i i shot a whole youtube video that will never air of me trying on jeans and none of them fit but okay rich That's dad funny. rich dad poor dad i i do think that you're actually 100 percent right that that book is why i still drive the car that i drive because it taught me and it really did you read it like how did you know that that book applied to me I read I listened to a synopsis of it okay so he like talks about how a car a lot of people think a car is an asset but a car is is it be called a debit yeah I didn't read it someone told me about it as an now that I'm realizing okay so anyways a car to me is not an asset a card it's a liability a, a car is a liability and that's why I have a shitty car because I don't want to have an expensive liability Anyway, that <laughs> I'm so is, glad you said it's very important to tell this. Anyways, no, more, more of that in the webinar. Go to Esther's webinar dot biz. But if you want to have more fun, go to my webinar and it's all about how to live in your car, but also eat Erewhon. <laughs> Here's the thing. Keep the costs low. Have the fine life. That Besides is. Besides when you go to sleep because you don't have a home. <laughs> You're homeless. There is a fat roll that's hanging over my body that's been hanging over, and I'm, I, think that's I will cool. be insecure about it later, but I'm fertile. It I makes look, you seem young. I'm very fertile. I know that you guys don't care. Young girls just have their stomachs hanging out in a way that like people our age could never do. We're not. I mean, I definitely do it. And You're every definitely doing it right now. I dress like, I always want there to be a hint of molested in my outfit. Oh, boy. <laughs> Last night on stage, Annie just tr- screams out, I know I was blessed. I can't stop talking about it. I won't <laughs> shut up. About it. That's true. My favorite um, review for this was a one star. By the way, go on iTunes and review this. Rate and with, review and subscribe. Rate review with five stars. And, and go subscribe. on YouTube and like the video and subscribe and, subscribe. and comment. And comment. Tell that your I, but can you guys actually do that? Because it does help the episode. If you like it. And no. You, not if you don't like it, do the same thing. <laughs> you're under my control. I'm your leader. I'm in charge here. I'm the alpha. I look like such a lesbian. I can feel how much of a lesbian I look like. How is how do you eat pussy with a visor on? Why do they That is really hard to do. They go like this. This is when you know this is that's not lesbian, this is lesbian. <laughs> that's when you know. Because there's like getting in there, taking this off. Okay. Is it bad? What? My baby hairs? No, it's cute. Oh no, she's never to be trusted. <laughs> Um, Learn the technique of how to say it's cute. She said it so fast without even looking at me. I, I am. I think you're attractive. So, I- are we gonna do this? <laughs> the grim groomer over here. Esther's been trying to secretly bang me this whole time. Not everyone's sexuality has a definitive label. What? I just put the camera on me and I'm seeing what my hair looks like. Do you guys see the hair? She goes, it looks cute. What, this part? Nobody cares about that. People are looking at your beautiful your? eyes. What? Not the hot friend right now, okay? So I don't want to hear. <laughs> Wait, I posted a picture of Esther the other day. Wait, she before looks you so even, pretty. Before what? you even go, I just want to know if you were not hot, you would be so disgusting. <laughs> I think I'd be famous. You would be so disgusting if you weren't hot. I just want to be very clear. I'd be famous. How much I'd actually hate you. <laughs> and when you came near me, <laughs> I would be like, I would look at everyone. I'd make eye contact with everyone else in the room like, oh my God, don't let her come near me. <laughs> and then I would come right to you. <laughs> I can always smell that person out. And that's who I go straight to. I will win the hater. I can't live my life. I can't help it. Okay, what were you going to say about me? <laughs> oh, Esther looked really hot. It was annoying. Like, we were talking and she was like... <laughs> she was like mm. I was like, ew, what are you doing? Like, every once in a while, like, an angle gets caught where you're like... That's what I'm saying. No, but she's like, why don't you try a little bit? It's like, this is like... What are you trying to do? It's like you're trying to make someone feel better about themselves. <laughs> 
He's like dressing down for someone. <laughs> what are you doing this for? <laughs> it's like, you know, when there's like, the, yeah. Can we go back to it? When your you ugly friend's getting married and you're like, I'm not going to wear that dress. <laughs> All right, I'll wear a pantsuit. <laughs> I don't want to be rude. <laughs> We've all had that friend you got to wear a pantsuit. Oh, my God. If I if you show up to my wedding in a (laughs) pantsuit, I'm done with you. No, you will show up to a pantsuit only because you'll be the groom. (laughs) She's been trying. Um, Oh, God. What were we talking about? Oh, so she's like, she's all like hot in the picture. So then I posted like something weird's happening. Esther's getting hot. And then I got so many DMs from people like, she is fucking hot. She's always been hot. That's weird. They were like mad at me. And I was like, it's just like, it's fine. But I also get really uncomfortable when <laughs> I'm sexualized. You're sexualized. <laughs> the other day, Esther was like doing this, da- this sexy dance, which also Todd will put that video up at Whitney's house on the grass. How is he going to find it? I'm going to give it to him. Oh, how are you going to get it? I have it. You do? Yes. I took one too. Oh. But so. Can I have it? Why are you so... Because I actually was like, oh, wait, I need that video. No, I'll get you the video. And So awkward and pathetic. But she's doing this video. I'll play it. It's like, it looked, it literally looked like the cuties video that everyone was in trouble for on Netflix where it's like little girls like... I'm And I'm also like twerking. smiling during it really big. I wanted to post and be like, this cuties video is out of control. <laughs> but I'm already in trouble because of the masks. We'll post... We'll, Oh, I have masks. Buy my masks. I made masks. Okay, so I did the Joe Rogan experience. Crazy. It was so good. You were so you guys were so It was good. last minute. He told me the night before. He's like, Will you join me and Whitney? And I was like, fuck yeah. Whitney is like being very good. I Whitney know. is being really excellent right now. Like she really is. She's like, really r- she's raising everyone yeah, else. Yeah, she just wants like I feel like she's trying to grow peers because she's kind of like in this league of her own right now where she's just like Killing it, top of her game. Most of her friends were guys. They're not guys. Aren't really in right now. <laughs> <laughs> the guys we've been hanging out with, it turns out, aren't good. But um, and then like, and she's just being really supportive of not just women, but just like funny people that are, but a lot of women. And I think she's just like, get like, come up here with me, like. Now and she's just great. Do you think you have questions from the listeners that you I posted? Think I, four minutes ago i think i do have a lot actually should we find them yeah but was i saying something oh i did joe rogan's podcast oh sorry sorry sorry. and he gave me all this elk meat which on my patreon i will eat some elk meat in front of you guys and of joe rogan's special elk meat that does sound like an OnlyFans, by the way elk meat sounds like you're talking about your vagina he killed (laughs) i told you not to tell people (laughs) elks are giant (laughs) that's what she said elk meat I told you not to tell anyone. I've seen so many comedians' vaginas. I know everyone's. So unfair. I You've wish seen a lot. Not as many as you. You really, you go right for it. I need to. I need to know what type of vagina we're dealing with here. Oh my God. It's very disappointing when they don't have the one I think they've had. So did you like, you like Joe Rogan experience? It was, it was so It was a great fun. day. It, it was, was probably amazing. the last time in the, the old studio, right? Yeah, it was one of the, he did like, I think he did. Duncan Trussell and Mike Tyson. Wow. There, who are my favorites. I mean, not Duncan Mike is Tyson. the best person ever. I love him so much. He sat right there and had, I had one of my favorite episodes I've ever had. I mean, he I makes cried. everything good. We need to make him hang out with us. Yes. <gasps> we need to get rich so we can have our tests. Yeah. I wonder how much tests, co- COVID tests cost. She'll never tell us. I know. Oh, the guy goes, he goes, what's your insurance? And I was like, Whitney's like, I got it. I'm like, insurance. <laughs> <That's> insurance. <laughs> I think Whitney said that your insurance was from Chipotle. <laughs> she did. She's like, is Chipotle insurance? <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, if that would be my insurance, <laughs> Whitney, just to be clear. But it was so fun. It just was really Annie's fun. Annie's insurance would be from like Firestone or like AutoZone. My insurance is car insurance. <laughs> you take out your car insurance. <laughs> that would have been so funny. <laughs> Carmax, whatever the fuck. But they said Joe and Whitney said they're gonna go have these on freezing my eggs. <laughs> and you did get it confirmed on camera. I'm it's proud on of you. camera, so I'm, it has to happen. That it's almost as though you took the Esther <laughs> webinar that you got people to com- commit to a payment on camera. <laughs> these are the lessons I'm teaching uh, to my close loved ones. I mean, 
We got into Esther's car today. It was... Oh, that you ambushed me by getting in my car. I do not like when people are in my car. It's very unsafe for everyone. You know what's really funny is that she just needs to clean her car. And then she doesn't <laughs> have to worry about that. But instead she makes it like... It's unsafe for the person, the outside person to come in. It's like, just get one trash bag. Take it down there. You just got to do it once a week. You do it. (laughs) I know. I do have an assistant that does everything for me. Yeah, you fucking bitch. You have a fiance. Get him to do shit. He doesn't do stuff for me. It's not like that. I thought it would be, and it's not. Use your web. Take your webinar. You're right. No, we need to call Carlos. Oh, we should call Carlos. We'll do it. We'll do it. No, I a, meant to clean my car. We'll do Oh, my God. Not to be on the show. <laughs> <laughs> should I call him right now and ask him to clean my car? And then just hang up. <laughs> oh, my God. You know he's going to be, like, asleep and wake up for this? Oh, that's <laughs> so funny. <laughs> really important one. Why? What? Why did you answer like that? I answered. I just said, "Hey." <laughs> okay, I have a qu- I have a really important question. No, I'm on. What's? I'm being recorded. <laughs> How does he know? What? Carlos. Because I know the I know the cadence. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos, I have a very important opportunity <laughs> to present. Okay, me and my my friend Andrew want to know: Will you <laughs> clean my car for me tomorrow? That's insane, no, Esther. <laughs> I'll put you That's on my crazy. vlog. <laughs> <laughs> and he says they have car washes. I'll put you Carlos wash. That's so good. <laughs> car wash. That's insane. <laughs> That's insane. Carlos, Carl I'll put it on my vlog and a lot of famous people have been on my vlog. It's going to get a lot of views. Carl Walsh. I haven't listened to one second of you on Joe Rogan. Carlos, okay? it's not going to be a lot of views. She only puts it on her Patreon. <laughs> it's not going to be a lot of views. Is I'm that sorry. what I'm on right now? No, this is Annie's podcast. This one will get a lot of oh. views. Not the car, not the car watch. This is so funny. All right, Carl, I gotta go. I'll see you soon. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bring a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> that's the funniest shit. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's the funniest shit I've literally ever. This <laughs> okay, questions. <laughs> you split the four dollars in youtube revenue that you're gonna make off this with me (laughs) wait what i said can you split the four dollars of youtube (laughs) revenue you're gonna make off this i think i've made four dollars in total (laughs) (laughs) oh my god oh it's so weird when our friends are so rich (laughs) i can't believe it. not all of them (laughs) oh my god okay wait oh Do you edit out this dead air? No, 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 no. We make them listen. Are you serious? Yeah, why not? I just always forget how to get to the... Okay. You forget how to edit? No, I forget, forget how to get to the questions. You forget that you don't know how to edit? <laughs> I forget how to get to qu- the questions. Oh, okay. How long have you been sober? Nope, that's not for this podcast. But keep watching and we will talk about the sober thing. I'm going to do that with Tate Fletcher, who is amazing and cool and he helped me get sober. We're going to do that episode soon. I just talked to him. And I'm uh, sober, but not the normal kind. I've always been sober. Yeah, the weird, untrustworthy <laughs> one that you know is manipulating you and has a whole plan that's written out on our computer. Is Esther like 16? Yes, stay away from her. I'm What's with the hoop earrings? I don't know. I was a baby <laughs> slut. Plan. I lost my virgin on a waterbed, okay? I have to wear this in case he comes back so I can pop the bed. A plan written out on my computer of what <laughs> I'm going to do to you when you're drunk. It's a like an old like Apple computer. It's this big. It's a the square. One with the like, colors, the different yeah, colors. Yeah, yeah. Um. Would you fuck MC Hammer? What? These aren't good. These questions. Can I hang out with you? 
it is really fun to hang out with us and you cannot if you join our <laughs> patreon though you can hang out with us on patreon we do a lot of stuff yeah we both have patreons. we do on our patrons we do really have like zoom hangs where people watch us talk yeah have a whole lot more of this <laughs> if you were trapped on an island and you were only able to take one item what would it be what would yours be esther because i need to use her reusable pad <laughs> It would be a reusable pad would be my item. <laughs> See, you used shit all over him earlier. Literally, you pulled your pants down and duty to Esther, him. by the way, when we went on a walk, it's like going on a walk with a small dog. She goes, I'm afraid we're going too far. I looked at my watch. We'd been walking for eight minutes. She wanted me to carry her. She's like a dog, a tiny dog with tiny legs. Um, One thing on an island, Annie's sword. Good call. Don't run with it. Um, are her parents really kidding? Are your parents kidding or really that cold on your special? They don't, they're it. not into me. Thank you for watching my special. Uh, there, that was all real. I'll get one more time. CC.com on Comedy Central's website. It's available. The whole hour special is free with no login required. You can literally just after this go to CC.com and watch Hot for My Name for free. Or- you could close your computer and live your life. I'm just kidding. Watch your special. It's so good. This is a really good question. What's the biggest risk you've ever taken? Oh, quitting college and moving to LA. To be <laughs> They're going to say doing this podcast. <laughs> oh, yeah. And also being within six feet of Annie with no mask. <laughs> but we did get COVID we were tested. We completely tested. And I've not checked energy. all of her actions post her test. I've been and if girl. she's been honest with me, then she should be clean. But I was also, I should also plug though, I have a solo podcast called Esther Club that Annie is going to come and do an episode of that people need to watch. Yes. And she has a clothing line that is, uh. it's Annie is the biggest that whatever the opposite of a fan is, that's what Annie is the biggest of, of my clothing line. She, every time I show her a new design, she's like, this is the worst thing I've ever seen. She'll show me one and she'll go, is this cute? And I'll go, oh, that's really cute. And she'll go, oh, Dave made it. It's like. (laughs) Every instinct you have, do the opposite. <gasps> there, no, I love you, and it's nobody cares what they look like. They just like that you made it. Are you gonna come? Oh, are you gonna come record Esther Club? Yes, and we should do a video where you teach me how to tie dye. Yes, and I also want to do a video where I grow you up, growing up Esther. That and is, I make you do things that, that you don't want to do. I want to do that too. That seems like it requires high production value. You don't what? It's not high production value. We have two minutes left. We don't have a bike. All right, buy my mask. You can buy them at Annie Letterman Merch dot my Shopify dot com. But also there's a link in my bio on Instagram. Good. And I'll put it up here. And it's on my website. Um, they're really funny. I cannot I better get one. How, you're, of course you're gonna get okay. one. But they didn't like when I put them on children, so you can't wear it. Oh. <laughs> I can't wait to wear mine. It's so funny. They're that, so funny. Funny masks are I drew it myself too. I hand drew That's it. That's crazy. It's, it's so drawing. funny that you're talented. I have another mar- merch drop. I'm gonna do more hand drawn things. Good. I think that's fun. All right. Um so uh patreon annie's patreon esther's patreon join annie's patreon because you're listening to her show and watch esther club on youtube and um annie's gonna be on it yeah and it's gonna be actually different we actually never run out of things to say so it's (laughs) fine and then we hate each other so much i hate her i love her i talk to her all day it's crazy (gasps) um also um the vlog is on patreon um just a bunch of fun stuff and what else do i want to plug the mask, Instagram, Esther Monster on Instagram, Eddie Letterman on Insta- Eddie, yeah, Eddie, Eddie Letterman. Letterman. I'm at Eddie Letterman. And I'm going to leave at the very end. I'm going to have Todd um, add a really cute. I sent, I'm starting to become pen pals with my niece right when the mail stops existing. <laughs> and my little niece got my letter and it was so cute that I want to end on a high note. So I'm going to have him put that video at the end of her receiving my letter that she'd been waiting for that's sweet all right should we ask people any questions that they can answer in the comments for youtube oh what's your favorite color no let's ask something we actually want to read and know about um what what did we talk about that would be a good question assistant did we argue about anything that we could get who's right um do you think about the webinar do you think S? Do you think you should live like me or like Esther? Yeah, monetarily because honestly, she's doing better than me, but I look so much like happier. 
<laughs> Wait, let's not do a mean question. <laughs> let's not do a <laughs> yeah, question where the answers are going to... Don't pit us against each other. I don't want any question where the answers are going to hurt my feelings. You're, you have feelings that can hurt? <laughs> the only reason I'm friends with you is because I know I can abuse you. Is this... A, do we have to end this? Okay, let's end it. But I would love to end with a question so we get comments to read. Well, what fucking question do you want? You come up with one. <laughs> okay, if you guys were on a deserted island... What would you bring? Would it be my reason? And it has to be something that you see in, uh, in this video. Yeah, or something we talked about. Something we talked about or an item that's in this video. And it could be my actual living dog. She's dead now, but th- if she was alive, you could Aww, have her. She's so girl. cute. Um, okay, well, thanks for listening, everyone. Are you going to watch? Why are you me? ending my own <laughs> podcast? <laughs> I'm controlling it. She the thinks she's webinar, the alpha. Webinar. She's two feet tall, thinks she's the alpha. It's like. I'm going to beat the shit out of her. <laughs> turn, turn that off. Turn that off. COVID. <laughs> <laughs>